A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. So in this video, I'm in the amazing fjord of Greenland and Ulestat, and it is so incredible. I've been here a few days now photographing these incredible icebergs. Oh my God. This was the exact moment I realized just how exciting this trip would be. More on that soon. But what I didn't realize was that this extreme nature in Greenland wasn't only gonna test my nerve, but my ability to think quickly from focal lengths from 14 millimeters right through to 400 millimeters. Morning everyone. It's fantastic to see you all again. So I am on a boat in Greenland and this is the most spectacular landscape I've ever seen. Okay, so I have big long lens, 100 to 400 millimeters and a 14 to 30 on. And it's tricky because basically we're going along in the boat and compositions change so fast. And the thing is to try and just take your time, which is not so easy. I'll show you in a minute, going past some icebergs, trying to find some wide angle shots, but it is so spectacular here. One of the things that I've been trying to do is just look at the light and how it hits the icebergs. We've got quite a lot of sunlight at the moment and some dark clouds in the background as well. So they stand out really well. Right, one of the really difficult things is that we're moving on the boat, um, so everything's changing. And the best way to sort of counteract that is use a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. There's loads of birds as well, so to give a little bit of scale, what we're trying to do is get a bird in the distance as it's going past one of the amazing structures from these incredible icebergs. And it's a question of just trying to simplify everything, which is difficult in a really complicated environment. But just by using the 400 millimeter, just trying to find a really nice bit of iceberg and then waiting for a bird to come. It's a fantastic way of getting a great shot. So on this first outing, I just tried to take quite a few photos so that I could get back to the hotel and check them out. And as you can see, it's messy. The best images are definitely those that have less in them, are simpler, but trying to simplify that environment when you're moving on a boat is difficult, especially with a wide angle lens, as I'll talk more about later. It was at this moment that I realized that this wasn't just a small iceberg, but thousands of tons that was going to create a small tsunami. And this was the boat that we were in. It was called Lisa, and Lisa was about to be all that was between us, 100 to 400 millimeter lenses, and a wall of water with a few ice cubes thrown in. I'm quite worried now. Hold on to your stuff, guys. Oh my God. That was ridiculous. Oh, I got that on video. My legs have gone wobbly. That was ridiculous. Look at that, it's hitting over there. Oh, 
everything is okay. Yeah, yeah, good, good. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, woo! <laughs> well, that was, I should say, it doesn't get worse than that, but um, it nearly got really bad, does it? That cliff over there just carved in three goes and it was so scary. The wave that it created was probably about as high as this boat. And um, we thought it was going to break on top of us. I think, I think everyone was pretty scared about it. Right, it's the evening now. We're going out between nine and one. Sun down is at 1.15 and I think there's going to be some pretty cool light. The sun is still out at the moment but there's some clouds over there so a little bit unsure whether we're going to get light all the way through to the lowest point of the sun but the icebergs still look amazing. We're going to go out into more open water to try and find some whales. Um, we, we, we decided not to go close to the icebergs again. We've had enough excitement for one day. Um, I'm still with my 100 to 400 um, I'm just going to try and pick out some icebergs and I'm going to talk you through the compositions when I've taken them so there'll be a bit of a voiceover. But you can just see this iceberg I'm passing here has just got a little bit of blue below and it just looks so nice. So I've come up to the top of the boat now because you can get a little bit more separation between the icebergs. And look how flat calm it is, it looks absolutely spectacular. Oh, this is so good. Oh my word, this is so good. I'm just in awe of it all. Absolutely amazing. So the light's just come out, it's just past midnight, and look at the light behind me on this amazing iceberg here. It's so stunning. Just as we come back, look at this, it's so crazy. These were probably my favorite wide angle shots. And as you can see, the golden light at midnight was fantastic. It was all about simplification and just by waiting for the right iceberg to come along made a really big difference to the whole feel of the shot. I really like these images. I wish I could just stop time when you're going on the boat, um, but it's so difficult because everything's moving. So just over there is, or behind that mountain over there, is the glacier, and that is carving all these incredible icebergs into this fjord. And that isn't a mountain, that's an iceberg. <laughs> it's so ridiculously big. And the idea is to probably go down and try and explore some of the compositions. Maybe I'm gonna go down to the shoreline there and try and do something with a wide angle. Shoot a little bit longer as well, and also with, with my drone. But the key, thing that I want to do in this video is photograph with my long lens and try and sort of pick out some of the really amazing patterns in these incredible icebergs. So it's quite difficult with the long lens. It was probably the best way of simplifying the scene, but you either were stationary and couldn't change much, or you're on a boat and everything was changing really quickly. I did manage to pick out this, but the light wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Right, we're off to um, a little village now, which should be cool. We've got a smaller boat and 
I don't know what to expect with this little village. We, the only way to get there is by boat. Um, there's no roads, the roads are just in the villages, which is so interesting. So we're gonna go to this little village and take some photos, see some culture. It's gonna be so spectacular. So we're chasing a whale at the moment and there's two boats, two small boats are on and it's really hard because it keeps coming up for air and it's feeding around here. We've got Giron on the drone and about 12 spotters. It's so exciting. It's come up about four or five times but it's super hard and it's super fast and we just want to try and get an iceberg next to it. It's quite exciting though. So this first encounter with the whales was so spectacular. We were all really excited, but I only managed to shoot with my long lens and it was so difficult to predict where the whales were gonna come up. So I wanted to try more with my drone and I can promise you, it does get better than this. So we're in this town now and it has no roads. It is so interesting. You can just see it behind me. So it's only accessible by boat and beautiful houses. What a stunning place. just got a shot here where I'm trying to record these houses and um, I just really like this granite in the foreground I think it looks really really good so I'm gonna shoot around about 24 mil I think and see if I can get a pretty good shot of these these houses I'm gonna have to sort out the verticals I should have brought my tilt shift lens shouldn't I but oh my word there's so much to photograph here it's so spectacular and then just over there there's just tons of icebergs what a place to live. Can you believe this? Okay, so we've just been looking for the whales with the drones and we've found a fin whale and a baby and it is amazing. It's just gone down now though. So we're gonna try and keep following with the direction it was going. Wow. So today we're approaching this incredible glacier and I've just been told we're five kilometers away from it and literally it looks like we're maybe, maybe a kilometer and a half. It's so massive, <laughs> so incredible. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to get some photos, probably use my drone and see if I can get some of the carving as it happens. But it's also really flat calm here and it looks so beautiful. So on this day we visited the largest carving glacier in the world and it was so spectacular but it was so difficult to photograph and so difficult to give any scale to it. The best I got was this drone footage and this drone photo. What an amazing experience though.
Right, so back out again, another amazing trip on this boat and we're in search of some really nice icebergs. We might get a whale, in fact I think somebody just spotted a whale, but what I'm going to be trying to do is um, just pick out some stuff with my long lens. I'm going to be using my 100-400 and just try and pick out some details of these icebergs. I find that this is such a good way of doing it with this long lens. Um, there may be some wide angle stuff, but that's going to be a little bit more difficult, I think. So I'll show you what I find. This is so spectacular. I keep saying that, that there's no superlatives exist for how incredible it is around Greenland. It really is super special. So this is a really good example of shooting with my long lens. There's a fantastic iceberg over there that I've just shot. We've moved a little bit with the boat now, but it's got really nice side light on and it's really simple. And simple is the name of the game with all these icebergs because otherwise it gets really complicated. And as we're moving, there might be different things that uncover and I'm just gonna quickly grab a shot and you'll see what I mean. It's just this really simple composition here and keep it simple and in this pretty spectacular place, you can get some decent shots. Oh, well, it's the last night, and what an amazing night for it. I say it's the last night. Actually, we, we fly tomorrow at midnight, so it's not quite the last night, but it is so incredible. And tonight, what I'm going to try and do is do a little bit of wide-angle photography. So we're going over there. I'm going to fly my drone as well. I've not brought my long lens, which probably is a mistake, but I just want to concentrate on some wide-angle photography, get things like this here that you can see in the foreground, which looks absolutely incredible. So we're going to head up there. Everyone else has gone ahead. It's just absolutely beautiful. Wow. Right, so we are here at the just tip of this little peninsula and wow, it's incredible. What an evening. So these rocks are really nice. I think I'm gonna try and shoot these rocks a little bit and try and get some foreground of these and the bergs in the background. There's some boats going through. I've not got my long lens, but that means that I'm gonna focus on just the rocks because I've not got any good shots yet of the wide angle stuff. But it doesn't go better than this, does it? Oh my word. What an incredible place this is. So I'm just shooting the icebergs now. It's quarter to one, believe it or not. And the light just looks so nice at the moment. It's a mirror image on the water. And I'll just show you this and what it does when you polarize it. Um, because the polarization really changes quite significantly, which I've not really noticed before. And you can see here as I'm changing the polarizer, just how much the sky darkens and the the glacier, the sun where it's hitting the glacier, you get a real lot of contrast and then the moon in the background really stands out. It looks so spectacular. So I've just been taking this scene here with this old hut here and the sun setting, these amazing sort of um, pools here catching the light and it looks so spectacular. I love the granite as well and how it catches the light. Oh, I don't want to go in, I've got to get up soon. What a place. So 
So I'm back now and I am so glad that I took two bodies. I wasn't going to it at first, but I usually do, but I was thinking about weight and going to Greenland and not getting on the plane. But I took two bodies and I had one with my 14 to 30 and one with my 100 to 400. More about that in a minute. Um, but I'm safe, I survived <laughs> that carving, which was ridiculous. Um, and I took a lot of photos, and I'm talking a lot, about 10,000, believe it or not, um, because I was just snapping away as the boat was going past. You didn't have a lot of time to think about that um, moment so much. But you know, it's like you always get a lot of photos, you wanna share those photos, and Squarespace, who are the sponsor of this video, are a fantastic way to do that. I always like to upload my favorite photos to Squarespace to share them with you guys and everybody else. It's a really neat way of doing it. You can control everything yourself. It's really easy to set up galleries. You can build your own website. Um, there's templates available, and 24-hour service as well. So it is fantastic. Go and check out Squarespace. You get 10% off. Um, the link's in the description. I can't recommend it enough as a photographer. It really has been so beneficial to me and I know so many other photographers. Right, I'm gonna show you this photo. So this was a photo I took my wide angle lens. So this was, I think, probably taken about 14 millimeters. And basically what I was doing, I was just waiting for this this iceberg to come past in, in the foreground when the background iceberg was bigger. And that was a hard thing, waiting for a smaller iceberg that wasn't cluttered to come past when you had a nice background iceberg in there. And you know we could have kept telling the boat driver to stop, but oh, it was just so difficult to do. And I don't think that would have worked really on the workshop because then we'd have waited for fun to get the shot. And it, it, so it's quite hard, um, but it was also really rewarding as well. And um, I got better, and I think everybody got better at finding things, especially with, with our long lenses, um, my 100 to 400. Um, I'll upload some of the photos onto Squarespace, so you can go and check, uh, check those out, and I'll put a link in the description. And that's it. I'll leave you with some footage, some photos of the amazing whales. It really was a privilege to share the ocean with the, <laughs> those creatures. They are so special. We saw a humpback, we saw a fin whale, with its baby. What an amazing experience. How many times have I said amazing now? Bye. Thank you.